humble folk of... My granddad's been teaching me the prayer ever since I was little. He reckons the spirit of the land really does live on Cobblestone Tor, you see. As long as I can remember, he's been preparing me for this day. The day it would finally be my turn to climb all the way up there and offer my thanks. I just wonder whose idea it was in the first place, sending the village's young folk on such a dangerous errand. What if I take a tumble and do myself a mischief? Well, not to worry. Since you and me were born on the same day, I'm lucky enough to have a bodyguard along for the journey. Come on then, that craggy old thing. Oh! Blighters, aren't they? Crikey! I wasn't expecting that. And now we've got to go through that. I'll bet you anything that's where those awful things.
all blighters, aren't they? Blighters, aren't they? Blighters, aren't they?
Blighters, aren't they? I'm so proud of you! <laughs> I... I'm sorry, Gemma. I only came up here because I thought it'd be funny to jump out and surprise you. But then those monsters appeared. What in the world is going on? I never heard anything about monsters appearing on the tour before. But never mind that now. Whatever were you thinking? You could have been killed! You take Sandy and get back to the village this instant! Y yes Gemma. Sorry Gemma. <sighs> you saved my bacon again. <laughs> I knew you were tough, but crikey. You really have grown into quite the hero. Not far to the top now. Oh, typical. It would have to go and start raining, wouldn't it? Come on, let's get a move on. Say the prayer and get this ceremony over with, eh? What? What was that?
We're alive. But how? That, that great big flash of lightning. It was almost like you made it happen. can worry about that later. All I know is that you saved me yet again. I don't know what I'd do without you. Now, we really had better be finishing up this ceremony. Humble folk of cobblestone, great land spirits hearth and home. Lift your voices up in prayer, sing it across all our drear. Blessed are we since days of yore, let it be so forevermore. just goes on and on and... Whoever dreamed up this ceremony must have had this in mind. They wanted to show us how huge our world really is. <laughs> well, that's it. It's all over and now we're grown-ups. Should we head down and tell Grandad and everyone? They'll all be waiting for us at the bottom. Indeed you are, my dear. Thank the spirits for that. When we saw lightning striking up there, we got a little worried, I have to tell you. <laughs> well, I never. Sounds like it's nothing short of a miracle that you made it back in one piece. Well, there's no doubt about it, the spirit of the land was watching over you. Now tell me, my dear, how was the view from the top? Oh, it was wonderful. 
I saw the sea stretch into the horizon and the sunlight playing on the water and... Oh, I've never seen anything like it in my life. <laughs> You're true cobblestonians now. Only we have the pleasure of looking out over the world of Erdria in such breathtaking fashion, you know. Uh, you're still young, and the day may yet come when you decide to leave Cobblestone behind. I hope our little ceremony has opened your eyes to a little of what may await you out there. Now, it's high time we were heading back. I'm sure your mother is eager to hear how things went, young man. Don't... Come on, you. Home time. Little soldier. Well, not so little anymore. I've heard all about your big adventure. Look at you, all grown up. I hope he wasn't too much of a bother, Gemma. <laughs> of course not. Quite the opposite, in fact. You would have been proud of him. We got attacked by a monster at the top of the top. But you'll never guess what happened next. That mark on his hand suddenly lit up, and a bolt of lightning hit the monster! What did you say? That funny little mark? Lightning flying about the place? Goodness me! Here I was, hoping he'd turn out nice and ordinary. 
But it seems his grandfather was right all along. Well, I've been putting this off for long enough now. You and me need to have a little talk. Here, this belongs to you. Your grandfather asked me to give you it once you'd come of age and climbed the tour. The truth is, there's something I've been keeping a secret all these years. Something I've never told another soul in the village. It's... how can I put this now? Um... well... he said you're... You're the reincarnation of the Luminary! What? Oh, don't ask me what the old fool meant, dear. I haven't got the foggiest. All I know is that your grandfather said you had a special destiny and that there was something you had to do. He said that when you came of age, you were to head north to the capital, up there in Heliodor, and show that necklace thingy to the king. He seemed to think that if you did that, all would become clear. Clear as mud, I shouldn't wonder. Anyway, the long and short of it is that if you want to find out what this is all about, you'll have to leave Cobblestone and... Crikey. <laughs> well, I can't stop you leaving, I'm sure, but you won't be marching on an empty stomach. Come on, dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Sleep either, eh? You remember this tree, don't you? I got my scarf stuck in it all those years ago. There I was, crying like mad, and there you were, running round trying to help me get it down. <laughs> Some things never change, eh? You know. I always imagined we'd spend our whole lives right here in Cobblestone. That's why I was so surprised by what your mum said today. 
All that stuff about you being the luminary, that reincarnation thing. <sighs> I remember the story my granddad told me. Once upon a time, long, long ago, the world was terrorized by a horrible monster. But then, the luminary appeared and saved the day. When it was all over, the luminary turned into a star, and he's been watching over us from up in the heavens ever since. That's his star, right there. <sighs> How can you be the luminary too? I, I just don't get it. I know. That's what you're going to Heliodor to find out. I understand, really. Listen, we should both be getting back. Everyone will be wondering where we've got to. Goodbye, old friend. <laughs> well, just look at you. You don't scrub up too bad, you know. Only wish your grandfather were here to see you. You won't forget him, will you? He was a fine, upstanding man, the pride of the village. You could do worse than try to be like him. Well, however you turn out, I'm sure you'll find a way to overcome whatever lies ahead. A mother knows these things. Oh, by the way, I've popped a little money I'd saved for a rainy day in your pack. Don't spend it all at once. Why don't you visit the village shop before you head off to Heliodor? You'll need some supplies for your big adventure. But don't take too long. The whole village is turning out to wave you off. Hmm.